Despite all the shade that gamers have thrown at NFTs, 2022 was a pretty big year for video games that incorporated blockchain tech. While the rest of the crypto industry has been bleeding in the streets, Web3 Gaming has been building in the shadows and now their time in the spotlight is here. I am dubbing 2023 the year of NFT gaming. It's time to break down my top 16 games that are going to absolutely dominate next year and might even make you a little profit too. It's mission time. Welcome back agents. Now look guys, I love crypto and NFTs, but I'm a gamer first and that's my true passion. I played thousands of games across almost every system ever created. All I want is great games to play that let me actually own the skins and items I purchased from them. Sure, NFT games have gotten a little bit of a bad rap this last year or so. No one loved subscription models at first, right? Nobody loved mobile games at first and nobody loved free to play models at first either. NFTs and games are the future because they're just a better tool for a game to keep track of their items among some other really great reasons we won't get into today. No, see today we're talking about my top 16 games that are going to be the most successful in 2023. And I think my number one pick is gonna be played by a million people when it launches. Let's get it. At number 16, we have Cornucopias. This is an open world metaverse style game that allows you to own land, make cool things on it, craft, build, socialize, and of course earn while you're doing it. The world of Cornucopias is split into different districts, all with their own theme and games you can engage with. I also really love their concept of learn and earn. Focusing on that educational aspect is key for onboarding new gamers, which is why they'll do well in 2023. Number 15 on my list is an old favorite, Blanco's Block Party. Blanco's is kind of like Fall Guys, but with guns. They have several different modes to play, a sweet party pass that is free and paid where you can earn NFTs, a big mod community that makes maps and huge clouds with brands like Burberry, a totally fun multiplayer game for Everreal. This team adapts quick and I think 2023, we will see them hit their stride with a mainstream audience due to their top notch marketing efforts and ease of use for those new tit NFT games. Okay, for pick number 14, we go mobile, baby. Guild of Guardians is a mobile RPG dungeon crawler with an esports focus. I really love that they're focusing on guilds in the game and you don't see that as much in mobile titles, right? Without a doubt, 2023 is going to be big for GOG as they have secured some massive partnerships with esports organizations like Cloud9, Fnatic, Navi, Ninjas in Pajamas, Team Liquid, and more. I may not be the biggest mobile gamer, but this is a winning combo for 2023. At lucky number 13, we have Spider Tanks from Gala Games. There are tons of copycat MOBAs out there, but Spider Tanks bring some cool things to the table, like renting your tanks for some passive income. The game is free to play, but they have a great sustainable earning model too. Multiple ways to play without even caring what NFTs are will help them go the distance in 2023, in my opinion. Now besides, who doesn't want to destroy a giant robot chicken with Snoop Dogg's lowrider tank, right? Coming in at number 12 is The Sandbox. Imagine Roblox and Minecraft had a baby. Well, that will be The Sandbox. It's a platform for creating games and experiences with a clean voxel look. The team has big money behind it and a shit ton of brands involved like Adidas, Gucci, The Walking Dead, Paris Hilton, Playboy, Snoop, Atari, and so many more. I could keep going on. Now, I'm bullish on The Sandbox in 2023 due to their breakneck development speed and their ability to land partners with those top brands. Don't let the hype fool you, because at number 11, the other side metaverse from Board Ape Yacht Club is gonna surprise a lot of people next year. This is a next level social metaverse with a very strong and well-funded community. Sure, million dollar monkey JPEGs are cool, but if BAYC can deliver, they're going to dominate in the metaverse industry that's predicted to reach over $1 trillion by 2030. Other side is miles ahead of Zuck's Horizon Worlds and 2023 will see them flex on that creepy alien acid tripper. Making the top 10 is space themed MMORPG Star Atlas. This is Star Citizen, but with NFTs. That's a big deal when there's an intricate multi-layer economy that you can earn real money from. Star Atlas is a very ambitious project, but with their vision, very dedicated community, and strong leadership, I think they will see big strides being made on the game next year. It may not launch in 2023, but nothing in the genre is going to get close to its level of quality. Keeping with the space theme at number nine is Phantom Galaxies. This game is Mass Effect meets Gundam. You fly around in mechs, you kill space pirates, you mine asteroids for real value. The game is playable now, has a great storyline so far, and the team knows how to market. 
Phantom Galaxies is set to explode in 2023 because they have the perfect mix of gameplay that is just different enough to entice a mainstream crowd, in my opinion. I only have one chance to say this, and then I have to start from the beginning again if I screw up. At number eight is Superior from Gala Games, a co-op rogue light shooter with beautiful graphics that set it apart in a sea of copycats. The game is challenging, funny, and it does not force you to use NFTs if you don't wanna. Out of all the games on this list, Superior is the one that I would say is truly different enough than anything currently on the market, and that's why mainstream gamers will pick it up in 2023. Okay, for lucky number seven on my list, we need to break out those rabbit's feet. Okay, okay, oof. <laughs> that's, maybe that's not the best idea when featuring my pet hooligan, an open world shooter with the soul focus where your avatar is a badass rabbit. The team behind MPH is really why I think this game is going to be special. They come from a Pixar style animation background and that elevates everything they do to the next level. The combination of leadership, community, and fire animation skills are what will catapult My Pet Hooligan into gamers hearts in 2023. Number six on my list is Pure Mech Battle of Goodness. Metalcore pits you against other factions in a large scale PVE and PVP mechanized battle arena. While we've seen mechs done before, we've seen battle arenas done before, nothing quite compares to Metalcore's combination of the two. The team has been crushing it at every gaming con known to man and their hard work ethic, slick graphics and engaging gameplay will 100% land them in mainstream gamers hands in 2023. Kicking off our top five, Champions Ascension. While the core of this game is a 1v1 PvP arena that feels a bit like Fantasy Gears of War, they actually have a full open world they're playing, which even in its beta state is fully immersive. Developers Jam City know how to give players what they want in an action-packed title, but you may not even make it out of the local pub in this one, because even the mini games are addicting. If we see a full launch in 2023, it's going to garner a ton of Twitch love for its competitive yet casual stance, which sets it apart from some similar games in the genre. With over 1 million gamers on the waiting list, coming in number four is Alluvium, a highly anticipated title that sold over $70 million worth of items while still in closed beta. It kicks up the Pokemon inspired monster taming genre with some sweet alien world space vibes, the ability to trade, earn and own land in their massive open world environment. I look at this and think Pokemon in 4K. Their monsters are beautiful and they are limited in quantity. First movers in this game will get to catch the best creatures and once they're all caught, that's it. They're gone from the map. The good thing is you can buy them from other players though, right? Illumium has all the makings of a breakout hit and because their unique take on the genre, their fierce team, no doubt this game will make NFT shine in 2023. At number three, we return to the offerings from Gala Games with Last Expedition. This one has mostly flown under the radar in 2022, but damn the gameplay is fun. It's an extraction-based first-person shooter game that adds in PvE mobs and crafting elements. Last Expedition puts gameplay first and NFTs second. Stunning graphics with a bit of an 80s vibe just really hits me in the nostalgia. I honestly think the unique gameplay here is what will set them apart in 2023, and I don't think anyone is going to see it coming. Well. <laughs> Maybe except you guys, right? Don't sleep on this game. When it goes public, it's gonna be fire. Exploding into the number two spot for 2023 is Shrapnel. Also an extraction-based shooter, Shrapnel puts an interesting spin on the genre, giving creators modding tools to truly build and own the platform alongside the devs. This team has worked on Halo, Call of Duty, and Star Wars games, and it shows. While the game is still in early development, they are farther along than any other extraction shooter that incorporates NFTs and will most likely launch first. Their cinematic and game Play trailers got me more hype than anything I saw in 2022, but it's the story they tell combined with features you just cannot see in an extraction shooter that will make them a guaranteed winner in 2023. Mark my words, this game will introduce thousands and thousands of gamers to the power of owning your skins, as NFTs of course, right? All right, here it is, the game you've been waiting for and totally just didn't skip to the end to see. My number one pick for the top game of 2023 is Dead Drop. Coming from my gaming mustache rival and real life best friend since day zero, Dr. Disrespect himself, Dead Drop is the first vertical extraction shooter. Think Tarkov meets Call of Duty, but instead of roaming around a huge sprawling map, you're traversing a massive 100 story vertical tower. This may not seem like a huge change, but after playing in early access, I can tell you it changes everything. 
Dr. Disrespect's Midnight Society has put together a team of gaming powerhouses, and I'm confident they won't rest until this is one of the most streamed and played games on Twitch. They have done such a brilliant job incorporating NFTs into the game that you wouldn't even know unless I told you so. Even in early access gameplay, it's smooth, it's fun, it's rewarding, and unlike any other shooter I've actually ever played. This game will be played by millions of people when it launches, which we hope will be late next year. With old two time behind it, a killer team, a new take on the hot extraction genre, and a build in fan base thanks to Doc, I predict Dead Drop to outperform any other NFT enabled game in 2023, and I'll bet my stash on that. Secret Agent Sash, over and out.